Eaves Beam Installation We recommend at this point that you recheck the internal dimensions, width and projection, and check the measurements across the internal corners, which should be the same. Silicone seal the gaps between the front of the Eaves Beam external trim, P6024, and the front of the windows to create a watertight seal. Position the eaves beam centrally on top of the windows. When positioned correctly, the front face of the eaves beam will sit flush with the front face of the windows below. The eaves beam pieces will also require joining at the corners. These are joined using two eaves beam connectors. The 90 degree angled corners on Edwardian Conservatory are joined by slotting the eaves beam connectors together as shown and slid into the channels on the inside of the eaves beam. Prior to joining the eaves beam, apply a bead of silicone to the mitered cut faces. The eaves beam connectors are fixed into position by use of the 6.35 by 38 mm silver screws through the pre-drilled holes. When all the eaves beams are assembled on top of the windows, drill through the eaves beam only with a long reach 6 mm drill at positions which are 100 mm from the edge of each window that is, two holes per window position. Note, the first holes from each end of the eaves beam should be positioned at 200 mm to ensure that the yellow screw attaches into the window frame rather than the corner post. Power drill the 6 by 120 mm yellow screws down through the holes in the eaves beam. Ridge installation. To identify the glazing bar positions for your conservatory, refer to your diagram. The glazing bars can then be counted anti-clockwise around the layout. Temporarily support the ridge assembly in the correct position. Start the ridge assembly by attaching the Edwardian hip bars to the boss end. These are the diagonal bars that run diagonally from the corner of the eaves to the boss end. From the underside of the boss end, Pass the M5 by 25mm roofing bolts through the pre-drilled holes in the hip and loosely secure with an M5 flange nut. Slot the holes at the bottom of the Edwardian hip bar over the M5 bolts located in the bolt retainers that sit either side of the eaves beam corner. Loosely screw on the M5 locking nuts without tightening. Repeat on the other side. Attach the first starter bar over the single bolt retainer in the eaves beam. Locate the holes in the top of the starter spar over the M5 by 25mm bolt in the ridge. Loosely screw on the M5 locking nuts without tightening. Once completed, the ridge is self-supporting. Use your installation guide to carry out checks. Drill and fix the wall bars using fixings positioned 150 mm from each end and no more than 600 mm apart, avoiding mortar beds. Some fixings shown in this DVD are for studio build only. Please refer to your installation guide for the correct fixings required. Glazing bar installation. The transom glazing bars need to be installed next. Start with any glazing bars that connect to the ridge. After removing the protective film from the glazing bar undercladding, slot the transom glazing bar holes over the bolts in the double bolt retainers located in the ridge. Repeat for the holes at the bottom of the glazing bars which connect to the bolt retainers located in the eaves beam. Loosely thread on the M5 flange nuts. Don't tighten at this stage. Repeat for all glazing bars that connect to the ridge. Jack rafter installation. The set of glazing bars that connect to the hip, the jack rafters, should now be fitted. The jack rafters have tops which are cut at an angle and when in position will run perpendicular from the eaves beam until they meet and attach to Edwardian hips. Before attaching the jack rafter, slide the jack rafter undercladding down and away from the top end of the jack rafter. Remember to remove the protective film. Locate the jack rafter arm onto the domed bolt and loosely attach the M6 flange nut. Do not tighten. Slide the undercladding back to the top of the jack rafter and tight up against the hip undercladding. 
locate the jack rafter onto the bolts in the eaves beam and loosely attach the M5 flange nuts. Prior to tightening any M5 locking nuts, it's recommended that you perform some glazing bar position checks. The positions of the intermediate glazing bars are confirmed by performing dimensional checks between the rafter centers. These dimensions, shown on your roof plan, are taken from the center line of the transom glazing bars. If all the glazing bars and jack rafters are correctly positioned, tighten all M5 and M6 flange nuts. On the inside of the connection, thoroughly seal with silicone the joint between the aluminium jack rafters and the PVC hip undercladding.